Hello Agents, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can get an unlimited amount of materials if you have the Warlords of New York expansion and a high watch level. The higher the watch level the better, and with a high watch level this is definitely the quickest way to max out most of your materials that you use for crafting. If you do enjoy this video then please be sure to hit like and share it with others to see, and then consider subscribing if you are new here and would like to watch more content from me. I am also the founder of the Best Division community on Discord, and after this video you can check it out via the link down in my video description. I do need to give Half Tilt Hobo a huge shout out for telling me about this, although I knew the mechanics worked like this and never thought about using it to my advantage. So looking at my home screen now, you can see that I own the expansion and my watch level is 1596. This is a good enough level to do this, but I personally think that I wouldn't bother with this method with anything less than a level of 1200, and you'll see why in a moment. But what you're going to also want to do is have a spare character slot. I had non-spare, so I just deleted this invisible hardcore character that I didn't use anymore. With a spare slot, just start a new agent and make sure that is not a hardcore one, as it won't work with that. And then what you want to do is choose the option to go to New York when it gives you the option of DC or New York. Just set up the character however you want, and your next step will be to complete the New York expansion and get the watch. Doing this solo, or with somebody at the same level, it is going to take you about 5 hours or more, but if you have a friend already at level 40, they can jump in and help you. You can actually skip parts by having them fast travel straight to the safe houses in each region, and they can then fast travel travel to main missions as well to save you more time. You'll finish everything quicker this way as they'll be able to blow through all the enemies and you'll still hit the level 40 requirement before the final mission. It took me just 3 hours to get the watch with help from Dave. This is where it gets good and as I said at the start, the higher your main character's watch level is, the better because the watch level is transferred to this new character. So in 3 hours work, my new character has a watch level of 1596. You will need to go through the normal tutorial and spend one level, but then back out and then come back in and you'll have all segments unlocked. Unfortunately, it has allocated all of my levels as it normally would and I only have 796 of my watch levels on my scavenging which is where I want them, but this is still a lot. With these levels, I am able to give myself materials as they get low. But before you do that, what you want to do is make sure you fast travel back to DC and speak to Anyara. She has account shared blueprints and account shared materials that you will want to purchase. You also need to make sure that these are purchased on your main character too. Once set, you are good to go and use these materials how you like. You can craft items, recalibrate gear and weapons, and what I like to do is craft optimization blueprints. This is the best way to get the optimization resources that I want, and once out of materials, I simply go to my watch and refill them back up. The only downside is, is that I can't get receiver components or protective fabric through watch levels, so once I am out of this, I do actually have to play the game to go and get more by dismantling gear and weapons. But being a common item, you get a ton of it, and can quite easily max these back out in an hour or so, but I won't need to worry about any of these on screen now until I run out of all my scavenging levels. When I need more of any of this, I simply log into this character and get them, and then when I run out of levels, I simply delete the character and go again. Three hours later, I'll have all these scavenging watch levels back and be able to spend them again. And this is all for the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to hit like and share it, and make sure you subscribe for more content from me if you are new here. And now we are done, you should definitely check out my video description for a link to our community. Thank you all so much for watching watching this one and until the next video stay safe and peace out